So I realized that I have not updated on my Black Widow. Her name is Loretta. I got her a much larger habitat. This is a gallon jar, which is probably overkill, but I wanted to have something a little nicer for her and something that I could throw other bugs into and have them you know, be able to live in there for a few days at a time without crowding. So yeah, it's just a glass jar, sorry Loretta, <laughs> plastic lid. I've got a whole bunch of air holes there and I put sticks and glass and rocks. It's you know, tumbled glass, no sharp edges, and then sand in the bottom. The sticks are somewhat sloppily siliconed to the sides so that they can't fall over. Hi, Loretta. And yeah, it's uh, she seems to really like it. She's got quite the network of webs set up in there. And there's this other little spider. He's been in there for a long time. He's really good at staying away from her. So, <laughs> yeah, life skills. Go, buddy. Um, I'm wondering why the sticks only come up this far here. It's because she cannot walk on the glass. And when I open up the top, I want to make sure that I'm safe and she's safe and everybody's safe. So she can't uh, run out and cause mayhem. So this is kind of nice because I can look down and get a good view. Hey, pretty girl. Look at you. It's just kind of nice. And uh, it's really hard to see her webs, but they're there. They are there. Yeah, you can kind of see them. Sorry for the hubbub, Loretta. Just want to show people how pretty you are. She's really fat right now. She just finished eating another spider. One of those uh, really gangly, fat body and long leg ones. I don't know what they're called. I can kind of see her webs. Sorry for the terrible lighting. But yeah, so she's got deluxe accommodations now. She seems pretty happy. Every once in a while I dribble a little bit of water down onto the black rock down there. It's got a flat surface, so she and any bugs that are in there can get a drink. Mm. Thanks for watching. See ya.